It might be the line. Because we use we pulled a couple of those lines last night for the thing in the great room. Okay. So now six should be six. Nathan, do you have it on six? No, I still have it on two. Is your camera set down pointing at drums? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna unplug the eight line. See? Two and away, right? Yep. And that needs to be in what input? Seven or eight. I Hold don't on. know. Hold on. Director. <laughs> I have no I need it to be six. Okay. Don't Jesse put it back real quick. Hold on. I literally just did it. I think the routing issue is here, Jesse. Okay, well, I'll plug two, the camera two cable into input two, and I'll let you sort it on that end. Yeah. And then, Paul, the BTV pre-roll starts at 10.15, not 10.17. Okay, I'll fix that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. We got it in six now. Or it's a sideways camera on drum side is in six now. That should be two. Ben, are you in the pit? Right now, anyway? Yeah, what's up? Just checking. Oh, I guess you and Jared are there? Because I got your camera in six still. That's amazing. 
Migraines being healed. I like that. Five. Had six. I just unplugged. Oh, from six. <laughs> Alright, Jared, you just picked up your camera on keys. Cool, yeah. Um, do we have four? We've got four. We don't have two yet, which is bad. Gotcha. It's not for me, then. I'm trying to figure out... What? <laughs> it's probably me. I'm trying to figure out where, uh... Who's back? Get smaller ears. <laughs> There's, a, There's exercises you could do for that. Just rep your ear with rubber bands. Yep. Helps tighten it up. I do that sometimes. <laughs> do we have Ben's camera? Yeah, we got all cams now. I'm going to power down on what? five to save battery. Why?
Same oh, you six. just said that. Is two gonna do a uh, backstage pass? Yeah. We got 640 till backstage. Uh, till pre roll. Pre roll. That's right. Drake, do you have media for us to ISO? If you wanted. I wanted some, a couple things I sewed, but I think it's all got BCA on it, probably. Ben? Not BCA, but. Um, BCS. BCS. <laughs> you guys use CFAST and not SDs, right? Uh, no, we used SDs, I believe. I just gave uh, Jared my two CFAST cards for the Komodos. Well, I wanted to get Ben recorded as well. Yeah, I gave him a card. That's one of them. Perfect. No pressure, Ben, but it just needs to be your best work ever. Hang on, I wasn't listening. What are we talking about? I need your best work ever, because you're being ISO'd. Oh, I, I think I, I just realized I have COVID. <laughs> You're just gonna shoot portrait mode the whole time. For the gram. Do we have Joe coming? He's scheduled. Yeah, I don't know. Who's going to text him? Hey, how's Victor doing? He says very good. How's exposure on five? Oh, great. Is he too bright right now? Mm, a little bit. Not too bad. Do you got pulse color on that guy? Uh, hold on. Looks good. Yes, but it's called exposure assist, so I don't know how accurate it is. Is that the small HD, right? Yeah. If you lost one, that was me. I just power cycled a fiber converter. Okay. My multi still broken. What the frick? You just he's back here laughing. You did something. I knew it was Jesse. I didn't do anything.
Um, Ben. This is Nathan. Is up here, ready for backstage pass? Don't yeah, it, it's it's pre-roll. That's not. I I know. Should okay. I tell him? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm I'll, I'll walk over there right now, but. I think it's, sorry, excuse me. Um, I think it's like another five minutes after this. Yeah, it's at 1020, so in six and a half cool. minutes. Faxus is definitely the smartest by putting their logo on there. There he is! No, they're not. Three, two and a half minutes. Two and a half to backstage minutes. Pass. Ben, are you here? Oh, there he is. Yeah. how you like having a seven inch monitor. Oh. It's got some really cool features, so. I don't like seven inch monitors for handheld, but that's just me. It's too big. 
If it was seven inch monitors, yeah. we could do picture in picture. <laughs> see program. I don't have anything on program. That's the. Huh? Yeah, I'm on preview. What? We got a minute and 15. What multi does he have? <laughs> it wasn't crazy. I did not enjoy my experience. <laughs> I'm really saturated on two. Hey, just say it's all all the multis are changing in like a week. It doesn't matter. You can just wrap the multi 16 to him if he wants it. Yeah, 45. Thank you, Nathan. Yeah. It might happen. You will? All right. Oh, wow, they're right up front. These guys are right up Yeah, jeez. We got 30 seconds. Nice. I don't think I know. I'm like, if you had it here, I would do it really good on that. Should I wear a jacket? Do you think I'm too wet right now? You're fine. We got 15 Ready? seconds. 10 seconds off. 10 seconds off? 10. Oh, shoot. Oh, All my. right, here we go. And Going in. 5, five four, 4, 3, 2, two 1. Hello, welcome Bethel family, Bethel Global, Bethel Echo Online, the all the Bethel family of Reading. Yeah, we love that you're Still here. You notice we got our winter coats on. It's, it is the Christmas season, one of my wife's favorite season of the year. Oh, yes, it is. We, we actually set up Christmas before Thanksgiving. I mean, uh, that's how crazy it was. We put up lights early, and I thought we were way early on the lights, but then she's like, hey, now that we have the lights up, why don't we set up for Christmas? It is her absolute I love it. favorite I'm season. I'm thinking about keeping it up for all of 2021 just to, you know, keep the spirit. <laughs> that's a, probably a good idea. You know, ever since, you know, the pumpkin spice latte hits, it feels like Christmas carol time. It's Christmas music. It's a tender Oh, oh, oh. I Tennessee do not, Christmas. I never start Christmas songs until my Christmas tree is set up, so don't you worry about that. <laughs> it, it, it but is I fun. always have jingle bells in my heart. Yes, and, and we just want to encourage you in this season that that would be something that we would all do. The, the Christmas season is, is the season where we have these songs playing, even in public uh, grocery stores and settings where I'm there's seven? worship, no. actual worship of Jesus happening on a regular basis. And Heather just said it. She's always got a song in her heart. And and we want to encourage you to have a song in your heart during this season. Three We're excited about... The Tennessee what, Christmas is always in my heart during this season. Yeah. And Paul and Hannah McClure are going to be uh, leading us in worship this morning. I'm sure we'll have a few Christmas because songs. Because guess what? They just there. came out with a new Christmas EP. It's amazing. You should check it out. Yes. What else have you been listening to, baby? A little bit of the Maverick City Christmas music, too. If you've never heard of them, you should check them out because they're incredible. And every time they began to sing, uh, for some reason, for me, it doesn't feel like a Christmas carol. It actually feels like true worship of God. And... I That's always, probably because it is. Yeah, well, <laughs> I get lost in it. It's kind of fun. Okay, so now I want you to, if you're on the chat, I want you to put your favorite Christmas song. Wife I want to hear sure. it. Share with One everyone. Yes. And Tell me what your song is. Mine is definitely a Tennessee Christmas. I love Tennessee Christmas. Okay, I listen to it already. over and over again. <laughs> hey, just... we're excited to hear from Chris Cruz as well this morning. Right uh, get ready. <laughs> uh, get geared up. In worship this morning, hey, why don't you just cut loose, make a little room in your living room, get get ready and stand up and worship God. We're going to have fun together. We're it's excited. It's going to be amazing. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you soon. Yeah. Merry Three, Christmas. Three, two, one. We're out. Hot sauce. Well, thanks, Mike. Betcha. <laughs> hey, no. Whoa, whoa, we're done.
shout out. But guys, this is uh, Nathan. Close up on the drink. He drinks good coffee. Yeah. I can't taste He it. drinks weird tea and coffee. Weird tea? Good coffee, but weird tea. Green tea. He Jay is. Cloud with <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Wow. Ice. Jade. Leave the, the Jade tea cloud. cloud. In the she Jade cloud. Oh yeah, he. Leave the tea bag in. Yeah. Is that so it gets stronger, or so you can refill it and get more money was worth? Stronger. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. All right, let's test the low light on this guy. All right, low light test right now. That thing goes up to what? One hundred twenty-eight thousand. Aperture what? How do I look? Because I turn around, it's weird. Yeah, it's pretty grainy. 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 But honestly, it's not the worst graininess. Is it like 5D Mark II green? <laughs> or? <laughs> if this were the 5D Mark II, it would be, this would be like 6400. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, that's a good... I'll go this way, though. You can put up on 400. I had up to like 400 the other day. Too much. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely not 5D Mark II. You're right. This is. And the noise, it looks more like film gray than it does video noise. Yeah, actually, guys, we're putting this filter on. Um, going for that look. It's kind of an Instagram look. Yeah. It's passable. It does kind of have an Instagram look, doesn't it? Guys, that's not me anymore. That's, that's actually Michael. Hey, guys, just so we know, um, there, Paul and Hannah are going to do a song after the message. What? So we're changing things up a bit. So. Shaking it up. Hey, Drake. Hey, are we what? doing the weird transition, or are they just going right into it? Are we going to a slide before the sermon? Yeah, there's a few different. There's like the missions announcement and some other stuff, but we'll have a slide between each one. So We're not doing that, like, stay tuned and we hang on a slide to transition? Oh, we are. We are? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. You should have picture on six. Got six, yep. Four minutes. Four minutes. We're not ice soaking, right? I don't think you are. Okay. You got a you don't have a card in your camera, right? You shouldn't. I think today's just me and Ben. Hi, Sonny. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Juan, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, yeah, swing out all the way? I haven't seen the podium yet. Perfect. Yeah, let's start right there. Jacket. Jacket. Just don't let it in inhibit you. <laughs> like, just make sure you can still do the Jaden moves. <laughs> I just love that I heard that over comms. Jaden moves. You should have seen the Jared moves I got pictures of the other day. Oh, yeah. I got pictures. Listen, if you do jujitsu for 12 years, you're going to be able to do things that aren't normal. It was... It wasn't like abnormal. It was just like Jared's. That's oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It was creative. Splits? Did you do the splits? Here, let me pull it up on my phone so I can show all of our oh, live good. stream viewers. Oh, good. You're supposed to enter people in the worship, Jared, not distract them. Dude, that'll take them right in. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I can't see it, dude. What's the word we use for that? All right. No. Uh, oh, the artifacting? Got yeah, a minute and 50. I didn't see it, Jaden. Oh, wow. Dang. Jaden is really just that leg just straight out. It had nothing to do with <laughs> he was just stretching. Right now, we have to it a bit. It's impressive. It's just so far over. It's 
Uh, no. Hey, Ben, if I uh, fall down the stairs, can you guys just grab the camera? I saw it. Film her first. We'll do our best to catch the camera if we can. Got one minute. I got the right priorities. <laughs> we'll make sure you're okay afterwards. Well, yeah, we can pray for you afterwards. Yeah, the I mean, camera will just be broken. Jaden, you're looking like a boss up there with the jacket. Michael said I should wear it because I'm too white. He can't be. All right, guys, we got 30 seconds. Cool. Is it Bill? Bill yeah. opening us? Cool. All right, gonna come in on one. Speed on six. Two speed. Speed on two. Not speed on five. Oh, you're artifacting a lot, Ben. Jared, move. Fifteen. Coming in on one in five, four, three, two, one, and one's live. Oh, good morning, Bethel family, both uh, local and global. And three, We're glad that uh, you're live. able to join us today. You know, the scripture says that, uh, that God goes from glory to glory. That basically is announcing to us that everything he does is a step forward. And even in awkward things, I'm this is the weirdest season I've ever been in in my life. Your level, right? And Four. yet, uh, God works behind the scenes in ways that uh, are quite Just unexpected. From Good eternity, level. we will look back really at this season level. and see that God was doing something the glorious ones, and wonderful. Right? It's it's best just to live in shot. this season That's with the absolute right. rock solid trust that He is good. He is accomplishing his purposes, and I am saying yes ahead of time to whatever he says. And uh, that's the way we approach this season. I, I have really felt the Lord dealing with me uh, as, oh. as deeply as I remember in a long, long time about the issue of trust, uh, just being able to trust him regardless. And uh, so I pray that for you. I pray that, uh, in fact, I prayed this morning that the Lord would give us a corporate trust, that there would be something that we would inherit as a family Three, that is expressed as faith, as absolute trust in God. So, well, listen, yeah. as we get started, we got a wonderful team going to lead us in worship today, and it's just going to be glorious. I can hardly wait. But let me read to you out of the Passion Translation. They Bill? have done the book of Isaiah, oh, and I want to read this portion out of uh, this yeah. messianic portion out of uh, chapter 9 of Isaiah. So let me just read this to you. We've got, uh, I think, two, two verses that I'm going to read. A child has Can been born for us. A son has been given to us. The responsibility of complete dominion will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be the Wonderful One, the Extraordinary Strategist, the Ooh. Mighty God, what is it? Oh, my the head? Father of Eternity. What? The Prince Jayden. of Peace. Gath, my Great and God. vast is his That's dominion. He will oh, bring immeasurable on peace and is prosperity. On my he will rule on David's like throne and over ago, David's kingdom yeah. to establish and uphold it, it by promoting justice <laughs> and like righteousness. From this time board, forward for and forevermore. The marvelous passion that the Lord Yahweh, commander of angel armies, has for his people will ensure that it is finished. Man, I just like that. I like that so much. So I bless you with that, and I just pray that in your homes, cars, wherever you are, that honestly, that, that this would be the mark of a new season, that there would be such a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit that we would all of us step into something fresh and new. I bless you in Jesus' name. One, and one's live. Slower down, one. Make Lord, make it awesome. Amen. Should be concerned that his banjo is not plugged in. <laughs> He's faking it. All right, going. Can I get it? Yeah. Like six. And six is live. Yeah. The yeah. are on. Staying on six. Going to five. Actually, three. Three's live. Yeah, you're totally faking that. <laughs> <laughs> and then four, get me, Hannah. Three's still alive. Going to four. Four is live. And 
five spies live. Next line, I'll go back to three. And three, nineties live. Oh, uh, wider on the four. There you go. Take four next time. Three still live. And four, four is live. And that's six. And six is live. Great job. That's good. Alright, gonna go to five. And five's live. Good recovery. Good. Run three. Three is live. Now four. And four is live. Go on to five. And five's live. Nice. Five. Go to two. And two's live. Six. Six is live. Gonna go back to five. And five's live. Gonna go to six. And six, six is live. Three, three is live. Next line, I'll take Anna. And four, four is live. Back to five, and five is live. Six, six is live. I got a three, and three is live. Looking at two. And two, two's live, going to five, five's live. Going to six, and six is live, two's cutting out, going back in a little bit, six is live. Four, four is live. Looking at five, and five, five's live. Going to six, and six is live. Oh, six is cutting out a little bit. Going to six is still live, actually. Next line, I'll take three. And three. Three's live. Got us five. Next line. And five's live. Got on four. Four's live. Nice five. That was great. Lost two. I'm on the Vaxxas logo right now. Got on to three. Three's live. Next line, six. And six is live. Five. Got two back. And five's live. Looking at two and two is live. Looking at six and six is live. And four. Four is live. I think I should have took two. It looked great too. Looking at two and two is live. Nice two. Five. Five is live. Going to five or three. Three is live. Going to six. And six is live. Four, four is live. All right, gonna go to one, and one's live. A little bit less movement on three. Five, five's live. Six, actually three, three's live. Six, six is live. And four, actually stay on six. Going to five, and five, five's live. Gonna go to two. And two, two's live. Nice, two. Six, and six is live. Five, five's live. Gonna go to one, and one's live. Great timing. Can't that looked good, yeah. Right. Thanks for being ready. Six. Oh, now I'm staying on one. I can't miss my chance to take six. Staying on one, make it last. We should do a song, All Tight Shots, just for Lee. Ooh. <laughs> Shout out to Lee Fields right there. <laughs> Staying on one, looking at six. Um, three, you did a great job. I was just mentioning like 10, 15% less movement, not cool. so six, aggressive. Six is live. Looking at four, four is live. Nice, two. Do we crowd now? Yeah, two, two's live. Going to six, and six is live. My next line, I'll go three, and three, three is live. Looking at five, and five's live. That's great. Next line, four, and four is live. Six. 
six, six is live. And three, three is live. And I got a five, and five live. Five survive. Two, stay on five still. And two, two is live. That was a great five. Two still live. We got six, six is live. Three, three is live. Stand up three and then five. Three still alive and five. Five's live. Look at that two. And two. Two's live. Look at six. And six is live. Three. Three's live. A five and five slide. Nice five. Four, four is live. Two, two is live. Looking at five and five is live. Cutting out a little bit on two. Five is still alive. Three, three is live. Six, six is live. Four and four is live. Going to two, two is live. Five and five's live. Three and three's live. Six and six is live. Five, five's live. We have four, four is live. Go on to six, six is live. One would be the big. And one and one's live. Three, three is live, going to six, and six is live, five's cutting out a bit too, going to five, and five's live, oh wow, three, three's live, and a lot, lost two completely, there's no filter, three's live, going to four, and four's live, five's gone, going to one, and one's live, thanks Juan, that's great, three, three's live, going to six, and six is live, thanks six for coming in. Nice, go three and three is live. Yeah, five and two is gone. Three is live, We've got two back. Going to two and two is live. Going to four and four is live. Three, three is live. Going to six and six is live, got five back. Six is still alive. Going to two and two's live. Alright, yeah, I think I got five and two looks solid. Going to six and six is live. Going to four, four is live. Going to one and one's live. Three, three's live. And six. Six is live. Thanks, five. Got two first. Two is live. And five. Five is live. Four. We got four. Four is live. Back to five. Five's live. Two and two's live. Love that two. Six and six is live. And five and five's live. Four, four is live. Going to two, two's live. Then I think it messes up six, the wireless when you come up here. And six is live, going to four, four is live, going to one, one's live, uh, going to five, five's live, three, three's live, going to six, and six is live, back to four, four is live, back to six, and six is live, three, three's live, five, 
five's live, going to four, four is live, going to one, and one's live, four, four is live, going to six, six is live, and five, five's live, four, four is live, going to go to two, and two, two's live, six, and six is live, going to five, and five's live, going to three, Three's live, gonna six, six is live, and one, one's live. Oh. Got you there at the end there, one. That was good though. Yeah, a little more depth. Two, two's live. Staying on two. Looking at six. Six, six is live. Oh, okay. Have you been having any wars? I haven't yet, no. It's been solid. Four is live. Looking at two. Two's live, love that too. Two, two, two. Careful there too. Uh, hang on, sorry. Six. He doesn't have comp. Two doesn't? You don't? Two. Six is live. Victor's on there. Oh, okay. Let me grab him some. Okay. Six is still live. That's pretty. Yeah, good job, dude. Looking at five and five's live. Four, four is live. Dang it. Jam, that was great. This time. Four is live. Our bitch shots are great. Six, six is live. Five, five is live. Thanks, Jade. It was great. Pit kit. Stay with you, Jade. Yeah, you did it. Perfect. Yes, you're faithful in all of your ways. I'll do the stuff with gimbals, y'all. You know. Ooh, three, three live. That was great. You are faithful in all of your ways. You've always been, you'll always be faithful in all of your ways. Two and two's live. Oh, gosh. Three, maybe it's Ben. Let me take over again. Kind of rough without the comms. Live. You are faithful and in all of your five. Five's so live. Six. Six is live. What a mighty God we serve. Going up five. Five's live. Nice five. Three and three is live. Going to six and six is live. Two's cutting out right there. Six is live. Going to three. Three is live. Going up five. And five's live. Nice five. Going to four and four is live. Three and three's live. Going to two. Two's live. Going to six. Six is live. Going to four. Four is live. And one. One's live. Five and five's live, six, six is live, going to three, three's live, two, two's live, going to six, and six is live, five, five's live, going to two, and two's live, back to six, and six is live, five, five's live, going to three, three's live, and end up four, four's live. And you never change. You are faithful in all of your ways, no matter what we face. You are faithful six. in all of your Six ways. is live. And you never change. You are faithful in all of your ways. Going up three. Actually, two. Two's live. And five. Actually, one. 
one's live. Make it last one. Six or five. Yeah, looking at two actually. And two, two's live. What do we got? Who's playing? Five. Oh, five's live. Okay. Five's live. Nice. Five will stay with you. Not yet. Yeah. Three, three's live. That was great. Heaven bent to dwell with us. Looking at six. And six is live. Five, five's live. Four, four's live. Looking at six. Six is live. I got a one. And one's live. Looking at five. And five's live. Six. Six is live. And four. Four is live. Looking at five. Five and five's live. Looking at two. And two. Whoa, two's freaking out. Three. Three's live. What was that? I think it's vibrating. Three's live. Okay. It was like vibrating. Yeah. Three or five. And five's live. Four, four is live. Six, and six of the one will be the big. And one's on perfect. Nice shape. Yeah. Sorry. Going to five, and five's live. I like the much lower head alert selections. Yeah. Four, four is live. Going to six. Correct. Letter X. Six is live. Black? Maybe say black. Going to five and five's live. Back to four, actually three. Three's live. Looking at six, love that shot. Six and six. Don't have two, two is completely down. Got the max is low. Six is live. Back to five and five's live. Four, four is live. That's six. Six is live. Going to five. Five's live. That's great, man. Nice. And two. Nope. Five's still live. Going to six. Six is live. Going to four. And four is live. Going to five. And five's live. Three, three's live. Get more exposure on three. Going to six, six is live. It's a little dark. Going to two, and two's live. Back to four, four's live. Here we go, let's go down three. Going to six, and six is live. Looking at five. Nine, six, and five, five's live. And four, four's live. Nice, guys. Five. Five's live. Oh, that was great. Six. Six is live. Next line will take four. And four. Four is live. Six, five. Maybe a little wider five. Step back a bit. Five. Five's live. Let's go right up the stairs. <laughs> yeah, she's right there. Five's live. Hasn't happened yet. Stay up. 
five. That was great. Going four. And four. Four is live. Nice, Jade. The black be weird, or was it the TV? On all cameras? Or on hers? Oh, Six. Six is live. Look at two. And two is live. On a five. And five is live. Four. Four is live. Six. Six is live. And six. Nice. Six. Yeah, I'm just gonna Three. Three. Super chat. Three is live. Uh, Twenty bucks. Going to two, next line, and two's live. Going up to five, and five's live. Four, and four's live, nice. Six, six is live, there we go. Eight, three, three's live, aw oh, dang it. Just stayed on, that was great, sure. Going to four, four's live. Going to five, five's live. Two and two's live. Six and six is live. Back to five and five's live. One will be the big. Going to four. Four is live. Six and six is live. Three, three's live. And one, one's live. Six, six is live. Going to three and three's live. Five, five's live. And four and four's live. Great, five. Two. Two is live, six, and six is live, three, three is live. Looking at six, it's just down three. Going to one, and one's live. Shift it up. Going to go four, and four. Well, this might be a good moment to walk out in front, you know, get those cool shots. It's kind of a... The pit shot, right? Yeah, he wants to, like, get six, up there. Six is live. A bomb four shot. Six is live. We'll take two. And two is live. Looking at five. Two's still live. And five. Five is live. Yeah, that would have been cool if, like, there was a guitar. Oh yeah, at the same time. Five still alive. Going to three. Three's live. Thanks, three. Thanks for hanging out, dude. It's great. Two. Two's live. Looking at six. Six is live. Nice, six. Looking at five. And five's live. Four and four is live. Six and six is live. Two and two is live. Go on to three. Three is live. Four and four is live. Go on to six and six is live. Go on to five. Five is live. Nice guy. Three. Three is live. Go on to six. And six is live, going to five, five's live. Looking at three, and three's live, going to two, two's live. Five, and five's live. Four, and four is live. Six, and six is live. Four, and four's live. Five, and five's live. I'll take two. They're singing, and two's live. Two's live. We praise your holy name. Looking at three. We praise your holy and name. Three's live. King Jesus, you are worthy. Six. And six is live. Just need a beam of light going straight down. 
like a star. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Four. Four slime. There we go. Looking at one. And one slime. Thanks for six. One's still alive. Six. And six is live. Five. Looks great. Five and five live. We nice. There we go. Oh, six. Five still alive. Next line, six. And six is live. That was great. Niani. Five. Five live. Or four. Sorry. Four is live. Six. Six. Six is live. Stay with you, six. High king of Looking at four. You four is live. Check focus on Paul. He's on the head right now. Six, six is live. Jesus, my Savior. Three, three is live. Bird, and four, maybe give me mercy, Hannah. I'm on three right now. Four, four Leave is live. Me angels in glory six. Six is live. The deep shadows of one. Oh, One's live. What a Six or five. Five's how, live. How could it be? Four. Four is live. Nice. That's great. Sacred three. And three is live. One, next line, and one's live. Going to six, and six is live. Swapping on two. Five, five's live. And stay on the cross. And three, three's live. Thanks. Great. Tighter on four. There we go. On four. Four is live. Six. Six is live. On a five. Five is live. Three. Three is live. Five and five's live. Going to six and six is live. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, that's perfect. Six is live. Looking at four. I think it's going to be Hannah sings this part, right? I could be wrong. I thought that's what it was. Yeah. Staying on six. Four, four is live. What was that? Did you guys see that on there? Yeah. So that wasn't you guys? No, it was a box, wasn't it? Strange, yeah, I didn't do anything. Four is still alive. Looking at five. Oh, front presenter cry. Oh, uh, okay. Five. Five's live. 
four and four is live. Let me know when it's back up. So. Oh, it's back up. You can put it up. Okay. The black and screen was when it reopened. Okay. Six and six is live. It's going to five and five is live. Four. Nice. Dream. And four. Four is live. That was awesome. Five. Going to four or five. No, go to six. And six. Six is live. Nice six. Going to five. And five's live. Three. Three's live. Go back to five. And five's live. Six. Actually going to four. Next line. And four is live. Yeah. Five and five's live. Six, six is live. Okay, great. Go to two and two's live. Six, six is live. Three, three's live. Go to five and five's live. Four and four's live. Five, five's live. Six, six is live, and two, two's live, going to five, five's live, four, four's live, six, six is live, and five, five's live, three, three's live, back to five, and five's live, and one, one's live. Oh, that, was, that was good though. I like the down whip. I'm not sure if that was on purpose, but it was cool. Five and five's live. Stay with you, five. I'll cut to four if she sings. I got six, two. I cut to six. And cut to six. Six is live. Nice. Nice timing. Six, maybe key or violin on five again. Yeah, that's good. And five, five's live. Watching four and six right now. Five's still live. Yeah, but I'll probably stay with you for a bit. Okay. Yeah, what is that purple flare going on? Some uh, Russian radiation. <laughs> Is that your red? Still alive. Oh wow. We're just swimming. Six. Six is live. Nice six. Looks pretty ready for that. Can you put that over his head like a halo? Oh yeah, there it is. It's an angel. It's making light angels. Stay on six. Looking at five. Next line, five. That's really awesome. And five, five's live. And... Look at that. Someone put a microscope in front of it. Two. And... You ready, two? I'm gonna take three. Three's live. Six and six, six is live. Five and five is live. Two and two is live. Go to six and six is live. Nice. Five. Five's live. Get up four. And four is live. What did that bunch of? And six. Six is live. That would have been a bummer. <laughs> I'm gonna go to two. And two's live. Looking at five. And five's live. Going to six. And 
eight, six is live. Four, four is live. Back to six. And six is live. Five, five is live. Three, three is live. Going to two. And two is live. Six, six is live. Going to five, five is live. Going to one, and one's live. One for a bit. Let's settle. Looking at six. One still alive. And six. And six is live. And all the shaders out there went, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Looking at five. Five's live. Five still alive. And two, two's live. Five, and five's live. Three, three's live. Four, four's live. Five, and five's live. Six, six is live. Going back to four, and four is live. Going to five, and five's live. Five, five. Four, four is live. Live. Going to five and five's live. Six, six is live. And one, one's live. Four, four is live. Six, six is live. Looking at five and five's live. Three and three's live. Six, six is live. And four, four is live. Going to five, five's live. Six and six is live and three, three's live. Okay, then we got a your switching is impeccable. Whoa. Is that Andrew? No, that's Kyle. 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 Thanks, Kyle. Five's live. Thanks, man. Five's live. Stay with you, five. You also early got it one. Nathan saying that your camera shaky. <laughs> Stand here for sure. Six, six is live. Already got him back on that one. Six is live. Look at four. And four, four is live. What I love about worship sets like this, contrary to popular opinion, there's no audience. Yeah. It's an audience of one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it just feels so good. Intimate. Is uh, stabilization on? Maybe it's wonky? For what? Four still alive. I was thinking that too. Does the creative have it? Or not? Four still alive. We got a five, and five, five's live, six, six, five's still live, go to six, and six, six is live, looking at one, is that like one four or one eight? One's live. I was asking camera six. Four. I think it just goes down to two. I could be wrong. It might be one eight. It's three. Pretty sure. Three point F. There's six and a half minutes left. One's still guess. live. Look at six. Six is live. Looking at 
four, thanks four. And four is live. It's one eight to check. In the kingdom one eight diminished. In the kingdom We're still on minor dirt. <laughs> five. Five live. Looking at two. You're the king of my two is live. You're the king of my life. Six. Six is live. Four. And four is live. Five slide. Stay with you. Three. Three slide. Six. Six. Six is live. Four. Four is live. Looking at five. Five, five slide. Two, and two slide. Three, three slide. Five, and five slide. Four and four, four is live. Go on a one and one is live. One still live. Gonna add six. Six is live. You sent the darkness away. Go on a two. Two is live. Alive. Five, I'll take that. Set that. Great. Next line, I'll take five. And five. Five, five, sorry, I was like that. Time went right. Five, still alive. Four, four is live. Four one, and one's live. Six. Six is live. Three. And three is live. Go to five. And five is live. Six. Six is live. Four. And four is live. Gonna go to two. Two is live. Six. And six is live. Go to five. Five is live. Four. Four is live. Gonna lose it. Okay. Go to six. And six is live. Two, two's live. Go to five, five's live. Go to one, and one's live. Six, six is live. Nice. Two, two's live. Five, five's live. Got to four, and four's live. Go to six, six is live. We're gonna have five, and five's live. Nice, guy. Three, three is live. Going up six. And six is live. Two, two is live. And five, five is live. Going up four, four is live. And one, and one is live. A little faster one. Going up five. And five is live. Six, six is live. Four, four is live. Two, two is live, and five, five is live. Six, six is live. Go on a four, four is live. All right, go ahead and get Candace three. Yeah. Actually, just be prepared for it. Three, four is still live. Still 
Round three, once you're ready. What a beautiful three, anthem three, to one. sing in this year. God, that Lyrics you reign well. above it all. I believe that the Lord is calling us to another place of faith in the church and four. in the world. Four, this year has been a year of faith and courage because it's required that. It. And he's establishing us establishing us three, three in a new on. place in him. And it is faith and trust. I can't get away from it. As we're worshiping this morning, gosh, I feel like my face is going to melt off. Whoa. I love his presence. He's Brutal. so good. He's so He's good. Jeez. Must be listening yeah, to so gore. His presence, I just feel him <laughs> calling us even closer. <laughs> and we draw closer it requires all of us. It's just another opportunity to go, here it is, God. No reserves. No reserves. I don't know how many of you guys are like this, but uh, the way I do finances, I, and even my kids, as they got bank accounts, I would tell them, I'm gonna put $100 in there and that's your zero. So whenever you're at 100, you just know that's zero for you because I don't ever want them to get close yes. to zero. Um, and after, even the way if I do um, projects around my she's house gonna or do if a verbal I'm saving for about something, if I and think it's gonna cost gonna go 500, I'll tell Eric it's 700. And then from church because news, we're going into offering. Because I just know how things offering. work. You just always offering. overestimate. Are we doing super source on offerings? That's still? Oh, sorry, and sorry, I never sorry, sorry. Be depleted church news zero. into But it's because I just, I feel safe having reserves. Mission to fate, my best. In life with God in our hearts, we cannot have reserves. As we come to him, it's giving him every part of us. Yeah, and then mission. Then Every part. And as a yeah, worshiping him and telling him he reigns above it all, I just feel this conviction, this conviction to repent if there's any areas that we've had reserved, that we've just held back. Like, no, not that relationship. No, not that area, God. These are the places I feel comfortable that make me feel strong, that I have power. In Luke 12, it talks about, you know, if for those who are worried four, about what we're don't worry about what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear. Seek first the kingdom of God. And we're in this time where there is worry everywhere. There is unknown everywhere. Three, three and that's when we know it's an invitation. Later on it says, where your treasure is there, your heart Hell. also is. And I just invite God right now to just come and examine us. Loud. If there's any areas that we've kept in reserve, if there's any areas that we hold so dear or that bring us comfort that we haven't given to him, God, that you could come and have it all. Come and examine us as the church, as your body. God, it's a time he's cleaning house. Thank you going into a video. So get ready for a movement. Yeah, so we invite you in, Holy Spirit. Wherever you're at, just invite Holy Spirit to come in, to truly reign in us, God. You can have every part of us, every part of our heart, every part of our world. There's no extra hundred dollars somewhere else. What? Trick, did you say help still? Can you remember who's speaking? I forgot. Your place. And God, I love that you're consuming fire. And I just say, come and consume. Come and consume every part of me. Yeah, as Holy Spirit comes, He comes in. Burns speaking. up things that don't need to be in our lives. I see pain um, being burned up. I see there's actually even unforgiveness Jade, because God is a great forgiver. Sticks, and in our own strength, forward, we might not be able to forgive. And we come, we worship him, and we lay everything okay, down. Ready now. It's his love that covers everything, and we're yeah, changing just his just sight. Sure but there's also but, yeah, areas that we didn't, like the video. in our own strength, yeah, maybe we maybe couldn't um, sticks, release forgiveness. Going. But I just see that as you are laying everything down, inviting God into every space, there's forgiveness. There's going to be a grace to forgive. And with forgiveness is alignment. And this is a season for alignment. That we're going to be fully aligned, that there's not any part of us that's out. Do we have enough batteries? And so God, I thank you for that. And as your people, God, and as your church, we just say yes to what you're doing. Yes to who you are. God, and I thank you for faith. I thank you for faith that it is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. Whoa. That in this season, we What's have the up? opportunity to be people of faith. God, that you're taking us to a whole nother level of trust. So God, in a full act of worship today, we invite you into every part of our heart. 
every part of our lives, the areas that we are great at and the areas that we lack. Do you want to the areas stuff? of strength and the areas of weaknesses. Yeah, come and have your place. Come and reign above it all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, right, for who you want. are. Thank you for who you are in do us. Her, uh, her thank you, Lord. And I thank you for just um, oh, yeah, a grace, for faith, and for trust. What kind of reverse are you looking for? We just say yes to that, God. Yeah, it's like what we did the other yes, night. Just like, so we can do like some over the shoulder, more creative. 2020 things. has been a year where we have got the opportunity to walk in faith. Up to walk in courage, to and I look forward to what you? God has for us. That's it is right, gonna be, know. it's 70, a good day, uh, it's gonna be a good week, a good month, and a good end of the year. We're gonna finish this we'll bring year that strong into and transition to into what God has for us next. It's gonna be good. Yeah, um, thank you, worship team. Gosh, McClure's team, you guys are incredible. There's some worship that'll melt your face off. That's just how it feels. I'm like, okay, compose yourself. Okay. But that's what God's really calling us into, is just to go even greater, even step even more than we've known this far, and not to stay in the areas of comfort. So let's agree together that we're going to just keep going, that we will not stay into the areas that are just comfortable and keep reserves that we give it to, all, we give all of it to Him. So today is a good day. Today we are having a worship on the ball field at 4 p.m. If you are in Reading, come and join us on the ball field. We have circles for each family to reside in. Bring your masks. And once you're socially distanced in your circle, you can take your masks off, bring your lawn chair. It's going to be a great time. It's a significant and strategic time. It's always significant and strategic to gather and worship. Say, say Joe. But right now here in Reading, it is John beautiful Hunter. to be outside singing to the Lord and just lifting them high. So come and join us at 4 p.m. Right, on the one. ball field. And then here's our church news that'll let you know one, other things that are coming up. Five, don't I? Hey Bethel family, the holidays are here and we've got some amazing things coming up. Here's your church news. The Reading Garden of Lights is a new Christmas experience in town this so year. Fun. We One went this 30. past weekend and it is Submission amazing. Video. We took the Submission. kids, it was so okay. much fun. And they're actually looking for volunteers to help us host this experience for our city. So check out the link below. Join us December 9th for a special it's Christmas video, tree lighting. It's, it's gonna be so much fun. Video, We're gonna have carols, like hot person. chocolate, oh, okay. songs. It's gonna be the best. We love this family tradition of ours. Yeah, make sure that you dress warm in case it's cold outside. Join us in hosting this year's holiday feast. It's a special drive-through edition for 2020. And there's lots of ways that you can get involved, lots of volunteer needs, oh, including you know, helping drive people to campus that don't have cars. Check out the link below for all the volunteer opportunities. If you'd like to contribute financially, you can text Bethel Holiday to text to give, or you can write Bethel Holiday on your check and envelope. Paul and Hannah McClure's new music album is out. It's called Christmas Morning. It's the music that you've been hearing on the background. Go check it out. You can pick it up anywhere music is sold. It's such a good Christmas album. We've been listening to it in the car. Well, that does it for this week's church news. Have a great week. Uh, 15 seconds. Mike's going up. We're going in one, five, four, three, two, one. Hi, friends. Nice. We have a brand new missions brochure to share with you, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Bethel Creative just did an outstanding job, and as people have told me, it's stunning. Uh, it's our annual report, and it gives you a, a summary of our year. It uh, lists all of our missionaries. Uh, we have about 70 adults and about 10 organizations we work with. Um, it tells you which ones are supported monthly by Bethel and which are supported by donations only. You'll notice that some of our people um, don't have their names or countries listed for security reasons. We have people that live and work among Muslims that live in dangerous parts of the world. We have people that travel into areas and work with Buddhists and Hindus. We have people that travel into war zones. 
like Joel and Lacey Hill and other parts of Central Asia. We have people that live and work among the poorest of the poor in Africa, like Tracy Evans and Roland and Heidi Baker. We have an amazing team of missionaries. We have people that work with children, orphans, and ministry schools like Selah Johnson and Jimmy and Gina Horner. We love our missionaries. We have an amazing group of people, and they're so worthy of our prayers, our love, and our support. Um, The link for our missions brochure will be emailed to all of our Bethel attenders tomorrow, so expect that in your inbox. But if you'd like to see it today... You can go to Bethel.com slash missions, and you can download it, you can view it there, or you can also go to Bethel.com slash missionaries and see all of our missionaries, their bio. You can also download the missions brochure there. Thank you, people, for giving to General Missions this past year. What a year it's been, but our for missions perspective, it's been a great year. And as you look at that brochure, remember to pray for our missionaries. Pray for those that the Lord highlights to you. Thank you. For now, CG. One, one's live, going to front of house. CG, CG? No. CG? CG? No CG? All right, go back into Amy. Go, going to one. One's live, no CG. That was awesome. All right, it's There's offering no time. We yeah, just had here. an amazing time Three. in worship Three. of our offering of <laughs> praise to the Lord, where we give your affection, your attention to Him. You're giving all that you have. And now we're walking fade, into just a tangible <laughs> sure. presence where we get to Thanks. walk it out by giving into <laughs> what God is doing. And I cannot think or help but think of the boy with the loaves and fishes. When he gave the loaves and fishes, it's what he gave, and it was his pleasure to give. He saw a need, and he gave. And when God's hand comes on over that offering, uh, he can't help but multiply it. So that is why we give. We don't give to get. We give because that is who he is, and we are created in his image. We want to reflect who he is, his person, his character, and we want to see the multiplication and see lives impacted. That is why we give. So please join me as we do offering number one. Four, four slides. You ready? Let's stand and give our full attention and affection as we read this. As we receive today's offering... We are believing the Lord for jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commissions, favorable settlements, estates and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money, debts paid off, expenses decrease, Blessing and increase. Thank you, Lord, that, maybe my fire, that I may have more than enough to give into the kingdom of God and promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. One, one's life. Yes. Thank you for helping me through that. Really? All right. Let's just pray. Would you just put what you have to give, put your hand on your heart, your, your wallet, Whatever it is that you're giving, just put your hands out and give to the Lord in this posture of prayer. Lord, we give all that we have to you. This year has been a year of unique trust. And God, we've only seen you be faithful. We've seen you be abundantly faithful in every circumstance. And Lord, as we give, we know that your hand and favor is on what we give. And you're going to bless people abundantly because of it, Jesus. We love you. And we give you our heart and our time and our focus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And a one, one's live, going out. And there we go. Did it this time. (laughs) You ready? I am ready. All right, we're waiting. Is your mic on? Mine, yeah. What lunch did you put out there? All right. Cool. Here we go, guys. In five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one, and hey, one's church. live. How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. My name is Chris three, Cruz. I'm the Young Adults Pastor live. here and Creative Director. I'm excited to be with you this morning, but I have to point out something that 
every time I wear them, everybody points out anyway, my shoes. You may not be able to see them on the screen or even hear them. I don't know, the camera may eventually pan. Man, you're, at some point, it may distract you from my message. And so I thought I would just kind of preemptively prepare you for the distraction, which are my awesome shoes. Listen, I was voted best dressed yeah, like in high little, school senior year, so I on. take pride in my fashion, I take pride in oh how I gosh, dress, and I, if you only listen to our podcast and you don't watch our stream, yeah, for, I'm or wearing do tuxedo shoes, shoes. <laughs> and I'm not wearing a tuxedo, so Window. <laughs> those of you that are wondering, what is the deal, I'm just Oh, they're not fashion. that bad, they just... <laughs> but funny enough, I was thinking about a Sunday morning where I wore a suit to Bethel, I know, those of you that have been here before are here. Not a common occurrence. It was like a glory cloud. I wore a suit to church, and then um, Benny's mom there came to me and said, ah, They're nice fashionable suit. shoes, We're not going back but to that. not fashionable socks. <laughs> and so I never wore a suit again to church, and, but uh, I have great shoes on this morning, and I'm, but I'm excited to be with you guys. I hope your holidays are going good with butter and cookies. Mine oh, are filled with them. My mom is a great baker. We're trying to convince her to get on the Great Baking Show, the American edition, but the Great British Bake Off. Do you watch it? Anybody watches it? Yes. They, it's amazing. They end it, and then they do the Christmas one right after it, and it's like just awesome, because I love watching all the baking one, because like I grew up in a home where my mom is a great Maybe baker, and so sweets were just regular uh, occurrences. I go to my mom's house on Wednesdays um, to hang out with her and the kids, and Usually I'll call her the, on the Monday and be like, hey, so what are we baking on Wednesday? What are we making? Sure what are you thinking? What are you craving? She's yeah. like, I'm thinking about doing second. these kinds of cookies. I'm like, let's go. Um, Game on. So Christmas just oh, okay. exaggerates yeah. all the already existing break, awesome yeah, baking that my mom does. And so I hope your Christmas has tons of good just cookies and deliciousness in it. Mine whole, has already have that. But let's get into this this morning, and then we will see where Jesus leads us. It's been amazing already. The worship this morning, I was like weeping the entire time. And so I don't know if you were weeping, but I definitely was weeping. And then uh, I got some fun stuff I think the Holy Spirit wants to do. And then uh, at the end, I'm Paul and Hannah come back on and we'll just have some fun. But I thought I'd tell you a fun testimony. We, uh, my wife and I, we lead the young adults here at Bethel. And we had a stream night the other night where we streamed our service. But on Instagram, we put words of knowledge on there from the service. And one of the words of knowledge was that God was healing migraines. Well, if you know Kim Courtson, who's on our team here, she happened to go on Instagram and open up the Instagram while she had a really severe migraine. And then when she opened it up and saw that Insta story, her migraine disappeared in that moment. And so it's just so fun to see what Jesus does. So I figured while I'm I'm preaching and while I'm teaching, I felt the Holy Spirit going to do something to people, to their bodies. I felt that um, there's somebody with nerve damage in their left hand that was going to start to receive healing this morning, just as we're going through the message. And I had a name. I have no idea what it means, but Cheryl, God sees you. God loves you, and he's trying to encounter you in a profound way. So bless you, Cheryl. I don't know where you are in the world watching, but God sees you and knows you by name and cares for you. And so let's jump into this. So here's the deal. When a follower of Jesus gets too far from the fire of God's presence, here's the deal. They try to complete in the flesh what was started by the Spirit. When they get too far from the presence, the temptation is now to become dependent on your talents, your skill sets, your strategy, your input, all of these things that could even be gifts from God. But when you're too far away from the fire of his presence, they start to look a little too enticing and they become this over-dependency. They become this thing that hijacks and usurps your needs for God's presence because they promote a sense of security that God is actually trying to get rid of in you, (laughs) in his presence. That is a wrong security. It's a false security. And so, so many of us, myself included in this, can start dependent on the Holy Spirit, but over time, wisdom seems really appealing. Strategy, uh, my gosh, we're in the information age, you just open up Instagram and you can find any expert you want on anything you're looking for, <laughs> that you could, you could be dealing with the, uh, like a really niche thing, but there's some guru out there that would love to have time with you to help you. And in this mass, mass, mass assortment of talents and skill sets, the need for God's presence can be usurped by a self-preservation, a a fight for that security that you're you're not aware that God is trying to move towards him. And so self-preservation is this interesting thing. You 
when you get into self-preservation, the thing you did that was, that that was risk before, before starts to, you start to kind of like almost justify a new way. And one of the interesting things that I've even recognized in myself, a um, weird justification a is if I make it sound Titus? like it's um, like flesh initiated, oh, that's just me talking. Yeah. Because if I can make it flesh initiated, I justify negligence. Yes. Like if I can go, oh, that's just yeah. me, then I can justify not being obedient. I can go, oh, no, this is just me. God's not wanting me to move on that. But instead, recognizing God is trying to draw me into dependency more and more and more. And so let me, let's open up with a psalm there, and then we'll continue to go. I am, I'm a person that is fast, so you're going to watch this like three or four times to fully get it. And I get that I'm fast. Someone is probably going to be like, they should tell him he's fast. I, I know. I know. Why, yeah, why change now? No. <laughs> but Psalms, Psalm 127, it's, I, I love even quoting verses Let's and the, reading them out loud, but it's always insightful to, to look at something that you might think you know. Do you, are you using that right now? <laughs> because it's not just about, do I know it? Yeah, maybe do it on four. Is it in here? Yes, 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 yes. In Psalm 127, on four. verse one, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. James is going to bring a Unless the Lord form. guards the city, the watchman wider. stays awake in vain. Let me just pray and then we'll move a little bit forward. Father, I ask that, that your close, spirit yeah. I don't know if he's distracted by it, but would help us to be are. dependent on you be more and more. That would draw out in us this deep trust that's built open to it. The crowd. And I pray that you would it's do there. what you need to do to draw that out of us. Okay, you're good. Three's left. Sorry, Nathan, where did you say you want to Lord, we want, um, we want to build your house and we don't want to do it in vain. Distracted by it, but I know other so we want to do this with you. Them. When it's right by them. Thank you, Father. Here's the interesting yeah, thing when we're wondering about there, the Lord building the house and, and laboring forth. with him so that we're not laboring in vain. Um, is something that can often feel you like lower? you mature out of if you've been around anyway. it for a long time. And that's the concept of revival. Yeah, right. That, that if you've been around it for a long time, the enemy of it is not good services. It's actually boredom. What? It's that I've done this a million times, hmm. and you all of a sudden know. get the sense of boredom with over what should fascinate you. Or, uh, yeah. and, and so all of a sudden, that boredom kicks in, and then God is looking to draw you out of that again and kind of Be pull out this spiritual forward. awakening inside of you, because revival right is an yeah. irrefutable way. You can, God can expand his kingdom in all that kinds of ways. There's no question there. The Bible is yeah. full of ways in which God expands his kingdom, but cool. revival is an irrefutable way in which right. he does Thank that. You. It is part of this whole picture, what? and this uh, revival is not the manifestations, One but way. revival is a manifestation what? of God. Where? It's not the manifestation, but it I'm is fine. a manifestation of I'm God. And revival is himself well, showing up on the scene. you're talking about it's it. It's himself. Will. It's the manifestation of him Four's revealing line. himself to us. And why is this crucial? Why is this important? When we're going in this journey of saying, all right, we did labor in vain if God doesn't build the house. There is a reorienting then, then towards his it? presence that is necessary. And revival reorients us to his presence. Revival reorients us to his presence. And revival is something that we don't go, okay, we did that. Now we move forward. We did that. Now we move forward. Now we did that. Now we move forward. It is an essential part of what God is doing in the world to renew all things. It is not something that you're like, cool, that was a season of the 90s. That was a season of the early thousands. That's what the, no, this is part of who we are. And it's part of what God is doing in the earth. And the interesting thing, when I hear a lot about the abuse of grace, well, when the abuse of grace is present, the fear of the Lord is absent. And revival puts the fear of the Lord right at the center of our being again. This orientation towards him that you walk with a new kind of reverence and holiness and a new sign of, new, uh, like, surrender that starts to come from you where you start to change what you were doing before and your dependency feels like wisdom. Your dependency feels like, oh, that's the wisest decision because I've seen him and in that trust naturally starts to flow from you. Faith is such a natural response when you see him. And so it just, when this revival of this, the, the manifestation of God, when you start to see him and experience him, you have this natural dependency that starts to flow from Forward. you. So what's God's presence worth to you? A great question for us to ponder. What is God's presence worth to you? Because when you're in self-preservation, strategy, all those other things, security becomes kind of derailing. I'm not saying those things are bad. Talents are good, but they could become something that 
moves my focus. Yeah. And, yeah. and the question is, can, what is God's presence low, worth to me? Jay it's interesting. Uh, I, uh, I lead the creative team here at Bethel as well. And we had a, a, a meeting like a couple days ago. I think it was on Thursday. Could, we had a meeting. And stage. in that meeting... We were kind of just getting ourselves familiar with some of the design uh, brand yeah, guide stuff and talking about, we were meeting with our designers, our film online. guys, our communications yeah, team, and we were all kind of no, getting together good. to go our monthly strategy meeting no where we talked about, about all kinds of topics. But this for one was, this. let's get ourselves familiar again with some of the Four. brand guidelines yeah, and different things, just a normal stage, kind of conversation. But I thought I would push us in a I way that we hadn't had before. Yeah. And so right, we're in the meeting and I said, okay, and move left a little bit. what does Bethel mean to you? Kind of going through that really quickly, a couple minutes. And then I said, all right, let's transition here. I'm going to ask a question yeah, do as high. Yeah, and no. it's, let's okay, see where God leads us with this question. And I said, if you were down. sitting in a line at coffee so much. and someone says Sorry, to you, you that, hey, you're not from here. Bit. Why did you move here? And they were interested, not being a cynic. They were not critical of you. They were just intrigued as to why you would move here. I, bad, I said, what would you say was the reason you moved here? Probably and they wrote, you know, Bethel, okay, explain why that. Uh, handles, probably. And it was profound. You mean for you to hop it? Volume's turned up. So someone volume said, the right because everywhere I was, God oh, was far. When I came here, he was face to face. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you real quick. Nathan, it's because of the Someone else said, because there is a group of people that weren't looking to exist, but were looking to push the boundaries and go as far as they can into the more of God. Take a break or leave it. They, were, they, were, they said, another level. person said, because I would have these Swing encounters with God. Go to where it's comfortable for you. And I would want to then make other people have these encounters with God. And it, it went Four. over and over and over again. And the presence that? of God started to just move in our creative meeting. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Fun. And I'm weeping in this creative meeting. Our project managers are weeping in yeah, this creative meeting. It's a better As we're just going, anyway, this yeah. is who we are. Don't better than that. any Don't kind of instruction or guidelines you could put out. Me. This thing. And one after another, every single person just shared what was radiating inside of them that would lead them to such courage. Some of them moving from across the country because they were like, someone says there's more three, three than five. what I've normally seen. And I love that. And, and here's what I love about that sidebar. If that is why we don't just um, hire freelancers all the time. Because skill you can teach, heart, that thing inside them, that thing is what's going to go through what we're creating. And that's what we're looking for, not just somebody who's talented. We're looking to go, do you have that inside you? You have that thing for the presence of God that draws you into such a measure, measure of risk and sacrifice. Like Moses in Exodus 33. If your presence doesn't go with us, I'm not doing this thing. I'm not doing this. I heard somebody say this one time. They, they, when they talk about messages that they've heard before or anchored themselves or saying them again and again and again, they said the devil can quote a lot. He just can't live it. And so sometimes I look at this and I go, the importance of like just pulling it over in my heart over and over again. In the last few months, I've been just sitting on two topics, the kingdom of God and revival. Yeah, yeah. And there's just this yeah. dynamic of we'll the two together yeah, because COVID-19, an election year <laughs> on top of that, there's been t many ways people have yeah, lost passion and have found themselves the going, they're just yeah, fatigued works. from online. More looking room. They're fatigued from everything being online. That, looks like. that they're Keep fatigued going. on when they go on Instagram. It's a, uh, a regular yeah, push. That. Make a decision on yeah, how you view this. There for now. And I'll ask for movement. Make oh, every time yeah. I open up this social media, I have to make a stance on something. And I'm going, okay. How about you start making a stance for the presence of God? What, do, what does it look like to say the kingdom is available up. right now to every single person? What is it to sickness? What does it mean to the outsider? What does it mean to the one that is bound? What does it mean to the one that is marginalized? Three, All of those things three, rest up. in the kingdom of God, not in the strategy of man. And so I'm going, if I want to get just ready for whatever is ahead of me, I must be living hungry for more of God's presence. You shouldn't have to have a fire that's fading. That shouldn't have to be the way we live life. And we know that other things can become more, more important than more pursuing life. his presence. God is everywhere, I get that. And I'm sure he's kayaking with you. That's all incredible. It's amazing. But there is something when I say I'm intentionally making a pursuit to say, I want more of God Three. at any cost. 
That is different than just abounding in God and finding God in all things and the, the lovely pursuit of him everywhere in the world. There's a difference between the hunger that I set myself One, to kind of guide my life with. That's the hunger that says all of a sudden you're in the car and God's presence just comes on you in the car and you don't go to your next meeting right away. You sit in that. You sit in that and you just let him wash over you because some, for some reason he has said this is a moment you need to take your shoes Three. off in and sit in. After this, but productivity in our world right now is king. So people will rush from his presence into feeling important and feeling like they're getting traction and feeling like they're gaining momentum. And here's the interesting thing. It says about Jesus that he would often withdraw from the crowd to pray. He would often withdraw. It actually even says to the wilderness and we kind of have a weird perspective of the wilderness, but that Jesus, is, that's Jesus's home turf. That's his playground. You see, the spirit led him into the wilderness. That he's going, if anybody's going to tempt me, it's going to tempt me in the place that I am strong, and that is on dependency with God. Four. That is the place Four where left. Jesus displays his dependency on God, so the spirit would lead him there, and then he would draw, withdraw to the wilderness because we're not fit to lead the crowd if we cannot withdraw from it. Three. We're, we're not fit to Three be left. out there ministering in this way if we cannot sit ourselves in his presence and say, that is worth more than any of that could ever offer me. And I, and I allow myself to be saturated in God's presence and allowing myself to fear him above everyone else. And that's where boldness one, starts one to one come one. in and fear of man starts to fade away. Wow. I love Stephen. It's a crazy story in Acts. It's just nuts. If you think about it, Stephen is put into a position in the church because these apostles, this is in Acts 6 and 7, these apostles are saying we can't do these tasks yeah. that need to get done that are being neglected in the church so they, the, the wisdom, though, they give them is find someone who is full of the Spirit. They don't say find someone who's skilled at the task at hand. They say find someone who's full of the Spirit. And they get Stephen to do what they were needing, which is feed, widows, all that kind of thing that they mentioned. And so Stephen um, gets himself in some trouble because of his boldness. And he starts to say some things. Because when you're full of the Spirit, you're dependent and you're led by the Spirit. You start to say stuff that's going to, woo. Stir up some people. And not, you, may, you may have good reputation with God and with others, you can start to stir some stuff up. And so yeah, I'm not looking right? for everyone to love me. Yeah, I'm looking to be yeah. obedient. Yeah. And, if and so Stephen is down. going, all right, I'm saying this. And then they come at him hard. Sit down break right right? Here. And Enjoy Stephen that. lays right out, there. what is this intricate message? I'm just on Acts 6 here. and 7, his, his understanding of okay. the narrative of, of salvation and what God is doing is just, switch. one, super profound. And he gets through it. And then it says this phrase in Acts 7, and they were cut to the heart after his words. And then, but then the next part is this, and they were gnashing their teeth at him. Ben, thank you. Like, it sounds like social media. He looks confused. <laughs> it's like Four. you said something Four. that was so true, I cut to your heart, and huh? you, all you could do was gnash your teeth at me. Yeah. He looks really confused. And then Stephen's response to the gnashing Three. of their teeth is, is this. It says, this is what scripture Three. speaks about Stephen. Three's he left. looked up at heaven and gazed at heaven. What? Thank you for what? That full thank of the you. spirit, this guy is getting pressure. <laughs> He doesn't go, okay, how do I solve this problem for all of you right now that I just stirred up with the word God just gave me? I know that all of you know that there's a middle ground for all of us here. He doesn't figure out, how do I make you feel good? How do I make you feel good? He's like, no, I just spoke what the spirit led me to say. It cut to your heart. I know you're gonna have to deal with that. And now that's what he did. But he didn't go and say, all right, it's time to figure out how we can make everything work right now. He said, nope, I'm gonna gaze into heaven. Don't face that way. And then ultimately his life is taken and it sends the church in a crazy direction after that. The trajectory after Stephen is, is pretty profound as well. And so this thing of going, what, what, if we're not people of his presence, what will we, we be reduced to? Hmm. We will be reduced to our talents, our programs. Going, all right, we can figure out a great program to bring deliverance and freedom. Four. I'm not saying you don't have great programs for those things, but if you reduce yourself to them, and four. good leadership, strategy, comfort, problem, when you're reduced to your problems, they become disproportionately directors. They start to guide you in a way that Jesus wasn't directed by. Three. Being led by the presence Three. doesn't ignore problems, but it doesn't make them this thing that goes, I have to be moved by them. And so Jesus is going, all right, if we become people who live without his presence, we, we will be reduced to so the form without power. Time. 
the actual service? Or Paul says in 1 Corinthians 2, he talks worship. about wise and persuasive words. Not, he didn't come with wise or persuasive words, but demonstrations oh. of the spirit and power. But well, here's the thing about that that I love. He says, that so that your so faith change it. would be in God, not man. Three, three, the, 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 the harm we do sure. when we become uh, dependent on ourselves okay, is that we pregnant? actually break down people's Long trust pregnant. in God because we're not giving them an opportunity to see his power, Piece of a credit card to experience him in that way. And Paul's going, if I lean on my wiser persuasive words, I actually harm you. I need to be dependent on the spirit and power so that your faith would be four. in God, so that you would be shaped by that versus shaped by me. Four, four is alive. I, I love what um, Leonard Ravenhill and A.W. Tozer, if you haven't read any of them, go read them. They're Please, amazing. They're worth everything you can read about them. But the, the, their dynamic with each other is also amazing. Tozer wrote a foreword for uh, Leonard Ravenhill's book, and, and those two are just sharp. The, they... Whew, they would say things that you're like, oh, God, that's true, but woo! And R Leonard Ravenhill said that we don't lack revival because we're ignorant. He said we lack revival because we're too self-sufficient. And Tozer, Tozer alongside him would say, when we don't have the power of the Spirit, the church becomes a shop window for our talents, a window shop for our talents, just looking at the gifts and talents of these great people versus just a place where God's power and rawness and nearness is known. But I get the feeling of self-preservation feeling real good. <laughs> I, I understand, especially as a leader, when you're leading people, you're wanting to do all sorts of things that will make them uh, feel great and uh, kind of solidify your own sense of value and your own worth. You can, as a leader, it's really easy to kind of even produce something so well that everybody at the end of it will say, that was really good. Like, especially, like, we're in young adult one, one land, my wife and I, so, we, you know, we'll do, we can, you, you can see all these tempting, cool things to do all the time, but Three. we've recognized how much we need Three to go, all right, how do, we, how do we remain dependent on the Holy Spirit? How do we do excellence, but not excellence at the cost of his presence? Like, what does this look like? How do we wrestle with this? And so I get the, the comfort that would come. Like, we even talked about our budget. Candace talks about, talked about our budget in the close. We've navigating our own budget saying we won't jump to something right away until God tells us to change. He told us to be dependent in this way. Let's stay dependent on that way. But it feels really good to think about how many side hustles I could create. It feels really good to go, I probably could do that. I probably could do that. And I probably could figure that out. And immediately worry drives me to this responsibility versus trust being the responsible choice. And so I drives me, this worry drives me to go, okay, I could do that, do that. I'm not saying you don't do that, but I want to say I want to do that based off his voice versus the initial pain and self-preservation that may come when I'm faced with a unique situation that I got myself in because I was obedient. You know, it's, it's like I'm here because he said to be here. I don't want to complete with the flesh, what he said to do by the spirit. I don't want to quickly jump to these things. So I get it, but I know that at the end of the day, that stuff doesn't break chains when I'm self-dependent. That stuff, I've said this before multiple times because it's just this era of life is filled with language of influencers and how far your reach could be how much of an impact you could have. Here's your strategy for how far you could go. And all of those things are awesome. Like I get the need for far reaching things. I get the need for strategy for how to create good content. But the problem is those things may gather people, but your strategy and your content don't break chains. Those do not break chains. The fact that you can go and go to a workshop to figure out how far your influence can go with your Instagram, it doesn't matter if you have the crowd, if you don't have the power. And so I'm going, I, have, I can only get that from his presence. And so I can't just quickly jump into thinking that's the thing. One, one's up. So I, I want us to pray for revival, one. <laughs> Begin to pray for revival and surrender all and give up the status quo. Three. Give up the idea that, all right, no, that thing today. that kind of just maintained me and is good right now and how I've done the last nine months of COVID-19 how I figured out how to thrive in it, how I figured out how to do self-care, all of that stuff matters. 
But what's over that for me is going, how am I stewarding my thirst for his presence over anything else? Because that for me is what sets the course of my life. And as Bill said a long time ago in school of ministry, and he said it before I ever got here in 2007, pursue God at any cost. I remember he said he would beat us to the altar. He, 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 was, he said, if, if God's moving, you're going to have to elbow me through to get to where you're going. And I remember even on, living on Hilltop here, and there was a live service happening when we were up? streaming it. And that's, the service happens, and there's this altar call moment that's happening. And I'm not currently here. I'm, I live on Hilltop, which would be about five minutes away from here. And the altar call moment happens, and I'm gripped in my kitchen watching the stream. So I said, I have to get there. Three. And I drove Three's quickly, life. got here, ran to the front, fell on the floor for an altar call that I wasn't even present at because I just wanted more of God at any cost. I wanted to set my heart to go. That's the kind of sacrifice I want to make in my life. If I'm looking to make a sacrifice, I want to make that kind of sacrifice. And as I said before, we're young adults, pastors, we regularly deal with young adults. And there's this interesting thing that happens where people are like, I don't want to strive. What's that for? Like, I don't want to strive. I don't want to strive. I don't want to strive. And I get that. But striving and sacrifice aren't the same thing. You don't want to strive in worship, but you never want to give up a sacrifice in worship. And so when it's going, all right, I'm debating, it's going, how do I enter into sacrifice? Now, how do I enter into striving? You may feel this thing that's like, oh, but I don't want to strive, but God is inviting me into something that I know requires something of me, but I don't want to strive. It's going, all right, how do I engage with him in such a way that now it is sacrifice that what comes out of me? So begin to picture yourself in such a way that you surrender to God and all of a sudden your life is filled with such purity. Sin that was taking over your life is defeated because you become a person who's so surrendered and God's being starts to shape you more than any purity plan could ever shape you. Four. Four and enough. sin starts to fall off of you because it's no longer something that's appealing to you as you're complete in him. Because his presence begins to satisfy you. I know that for myself. To go from a person addicted to pornography to not didn't come from a plan. It came from his presence. But all of a sudden, in one night encounter, sitting in a living room, and we're in living rooms around the world right now. My addiction did not break at a service, per se. Not that that can't happen there. But it did come from his presence nonetheless. It came from a moment in a living room where you're watching right now. Where someone decided to say, I have a risky thing. I have a word for you. Gave a word to me and God hit me with such profound power. Shaped everything about me. And all of a sudden the addictions are fading off of me. And so encounter leads to devotion, which sustained the purity. And kept going and kept going. And so when we're looking for even breakthrough, we cannot find it outside of his presence. Jesus says, come to me. And then you begin to imagine yourself walking in such love that even making it makes sense to love your enemies. You're like, what? I feel, I feel this draw to forgive you. I feel this thing that says, I'm going to do something in you when I forgive you. Watch what happens to you as I forgive you. Love starts to saturate your being. You start to walk in power and all of a sudden you realize that you're not just a victim of what's happening in the world, that you, knowing your identity, you walk in such power that when a situation comes in front of you, you say, wait a second, I actually have the ability to engage with this in such a way because I have the power and authority to do this and I'll speak to that. You start to change the way you live your life. You're like, oh, you know, the world is so difficult. You always know those who know their identity because those that know their identity go to prayer and those that don't just keep complaining. You know, those that know their identity go, I actually can change this. I can speak to this storm. And strongholds that would not move start to move. That's what I love about reading history of revivals and all those kinds of things. They would mention these strongholds, these places, things that were just so difficult. All of a sudden, start to not be as difficult. Hearts begin to soften. Repentance starts to flow from people as they're convicted by his presence. And I say they're never going to live the same again. Three. Never going to live the same again. Pursuing God at any cost. Going that thing that orients my being. This is more of you, any cost. That's what I want. 
There's a way of seeing God. Like the woman who poured the alabaster oil on his feet. There's a way of seeing him. There are five. This is it. That it feels five wise lives. to pour out a year's wages right there in a moment on his feet. Jesus is absolutely captivating unless I am deceived. Five or four. He is captivating. Four and when I don't sense his captivating, I have to go, okay, woo. It may not be in deception, but lack of passion is a wrongly prioritized life. How do I get myself back to the main focus of my being? Three. Your presence, God. Three's up. I think David would get that. He would, that's Dude, that the unctions. Don't take your presence from me. Thick. <laughs> Undignified. David, just radical. That's another thing that someone said in our meeting. They said, you would watch the YouTube videos. The music was excellent. It sounded good, but they were crazy. He's like, you, I was watch the YouTube video and I'd watch such freedom. I'd watch people just be so abandoned to God. They were not concerned with what others thought about them. They were just completely given and it was still excellent. Mm, Yeah. This hunger inside of people to be undignified before God, but then self-preservation settles in, right? It's like that thing that's like, man, I want to be so crazy outlandish. And you're like, Woo! And God's Four. like, he wants to just Four's move on. through your whole being. And you're like, your whole, like David said, I sought you with all of my heart. I sought your face with all of my heart. With all of my heart, God. I'm the first guy to sign up, dance, and move all over the place. Three. So it looks different for all of us. It looks different for all of us. I'm not saying you got to do what you saw on YouTube. I'm saying what you still. need to do is your surrender. Whatever that looks like for his presence. So it's pursue him at any cost. We have to be people of his presence. Especially, especially in a, in a place where people want me to be a people based on this. I Are we people drunk. that fight for that? Are you people that fight for that? Are you people that fight for that? Are you people that fight? No, I fight for his presence right now. Try to grab me. <laughs> Try to grab me right now. Oh, I'm looking at heaven. I'm gazing into heaven right now. I hear your teeth gnashing, but I'm gazing into heaven. <laughs> so I'm going to invite Paul and Hannah to come back, or whoever could come back. I already talked to Paul, so I think he's coming back. And so we're going to, I felt like us to just go back into a moment of worship, especially how tender, I was like, this works perfectly, how tender worship was this morning. All right, y'all and then there. we'll see what so. the Holy Spirit does for a few minutes. And then I, I have a couple words right. of knowledge that I think for healing, because I know that people are, transition. this is the service we stream, and I know there's people who have Three, a need for healing and a miracle. And so we're going to pray for those, and then... We'll do some, a little bit more, but Paul's going to come up here. So, all right. I know I was fast for you. I get it. You should have six back. Yes. Six, I know living rooms there. can quickly go into, all right, cool. The message is over. We're, we're, we, we got it. Or you may be even right now listening and you got a lot of stuff going on <laughs> in the house, everything. I remember in school of ministry, we would tell our interns when I worked in school, we would say this. You could hammer out those, those homework assignments. Put them in the computer. Yeah. But the yeah, moment God starts to move, you better shut that computer. Did I switch the lens on? You better shut the computer and get into what he's doing. Yeah, you no. I get you need to do those assignments. Okay. Yeah, That's the main thing you need to do right now. So if you're like, oh, okay, I've got a lot of stuff I'm doing. I'm folding laundry or I am cleaning the kitchen. Just for a moment, I want you to actually give that up for a second. And intentionally step into your heart's just engagement with God as we go into just a little bit more of worship and then we'll wrap up with some ministry here. So Paul, get us started when he's good to go. And then let me pray for us as we start. Actually, Holy Spirit, we need you. We need you. That never goes away. That's not like a season of desperation. We get the need for you. No, we always need you. Lord, help us to not mature out of dependency. We long for your presence. We need you more than anything. I need you to be the best thing I could possibly be in the world. Whatever you've called me to be, I need you to me to I need you to be that. I can't be the great dad you've called me to be without you. I need you. Dang it, man. Alright, we're gonna one. One's live. Lyrics are on. Six. Six, six is live. I'm gonna switch on four.
Yeah, you're good. Six is live. I'm caught up in your presence. I just wanna sit here at your feet. One, two. I'm caught up in this holy moment. Three's live. I never wanna leave. Are you sure you want me yet, Jared? No, no mind. And I'm not no. here for blessings. Oh, Jesus, yeah, you two. don't. Every home and altar five. right now. Check focus. Yeah, there you go. That people would lay things at your feet. Every and house. Our, uh, backstage pass. Nice. We ask that your you presence would begin to rush those homes. 
and those that need miracles in their bodies would begin to receive healing right now. That cancer would bow to the name of Jesus. Or those that have suffered with depression, that your spirit would realign things in their lives and bring joy in a profound way. Those that have found themselves back into addictions that they thought they never would get back into. I just see people going, how did I get back here? Holy Spirit, right now, begin to heal hearts. Begin to heal hearts in such a way that addictions begin to melt and people will find a new sense of devotion to you that sustain their purity, that sustains their wholeness. Shower them with your presence right now. Those that have feel like their purpose is gone, you begin to speak vision to them. All right, one. Again, I'll use these transition backstage. And those that have found their way to the stream and found their way listening to this message, whose hearts have either gone far Four. from you or have never Four found five. themselves in you. I pray right now that they would begin to surrender their life right now and come to a place of repentance Five. and say, Jesus, I need you. I want relationship with you. I cannot do the life I thought I could live. I cannot do it. I need you. Three. From this Three day five. forward, their life would be Lyrics filled drum. with your fire and your presence. They would, I remember being with someone who threw drugs over the bridge. They were just like, you know what, I need him. I've got to get rid of this. Will you come down to the bridge and meet me? I drove down to the bridge. They had the drugs in their hand. They just threw it over the bridge. Father, right now, I pray that that conviction would settle on people and they would take action and surrender. That's beautiful, Jared. Yeah, that's good. Holy Spirit. Five. Six is still alive. Two talks. I pray five, that there would be a, a new profound sense of worship in every home. Three, that all of a sudden they would five. find themselves caught up and they would turn and see the burning bush there to speak to them. These encounters that they would turn and experience your presence that would change everything about them. Mark them for more of you at any cost. Bring us dependent on you. At six. Lord, we choose that. Six, we don't get forced five. into it by our circumstances. We choose dependency. We choose that. Holy Spirit. Three is live. Oh. All right. Quick might be ending. Get ready. One. Hmm. And then I'll go to T. I saw the Holy Spirit touching someone right in the, the, the spine and the back of their neck, just beginning to move down and heal that part of the neck. I also saw migraines just beginning to lift off of people. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you love to heal us. It's your will to heal us. Yeah, I saw digestive stuff just all of a sudden just getting just completely revamped. The Holy Spirit doing something Jake, remarkable that. in that, in, in that digestive that system. Okay. I saw uh, like an eye, something like really messing. I don't know if it's not, I don't, it's not necessarily blindness, but there's just something that's just really messing with the eye, one eye. And I, I saw just Jesus' hand just go and touch the eye. Six. This one hits a little bit closer to home in the sense of like every exhausted parent. I felt the Holy Spirit just put that right in my heart. Every exhausted parent right now, Holy Spirit, refresh them. Refresh them. 
sustain who they are. Speak life to them. Speak life to them. Lift them up. Bring strength to them. They've been doing so much in this season. Speak strength to them right now. Lift their heads. Lift their heads. Fill them with hope. Fill them with hope. In Jesus' name. We have links for those, all of the people that are on the call. You can see the links will come up for an individual ministry for you. And if your heart has never been surrendered as we prayed earlier and you're like, either I've gone far from him and I need to repent and come back or I've never repented and I'm it's time to repent and it's time to be in that space. It says repent for the kingdom is at hand. God is here right now for you looking to make you whole. His kingdom is right here. It is at hand. Do not miss this opportunity. He's here for you. Three. Three is live. There's links that'll come up for all of you for all those needs. I'm gonna pray over us to, to wrap up our morning. Father, I thank you that you are so kind. That you see us, you know us, and you wanna speak to us face to face. Speak to us as a man yeah. speaks to a friend. In this next season, in a new way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you, bless you, bless you. All right, going out. Three, two, one, and two's live. Wow. What an incredible service. So good. Again, the word about the presence. That's what we're after. That's yes. what we've always been after. But it's a great reminder as well. Just entering in. I know. Baby, it's been impacting you. You've been on the front uh, row crying. Balling, cry. balling. And I just, something uh, that just, I've had worry. Like, it's just been intense. And I just, I saw Jesus just come in and just wipe it out. And so if you've just been gripped with worry, I just yeah. release peace to you. The peace, the shalom of heaven, that it would just comfort your heart and your mind in the name of Jesus. And I just, I see breakthrough for you right now that you don't have to worry. Yeah. It's going to be okay. This is so important. And I know we have uh, ministry teams available yes. online. If you're watching on YouTube or Bethel TV, please jump in on those. I know we already called out a ton of words of knowledge. I just want to share a testimony for the chats. In the chats, we had uh, uh, someone who wrote in right away, just like on Wednesday night when Kim said, my, my migraine just left. Uh, when Chris declared that, again, someone's migraine was healed. Praise so Jesus. we release healing to your yes. body. And, that, and our prayer is that during this season, it would be a healing season for yes. you. That when we're in God's presence, he would do what only he can do. And we're believing that for you and your family. Blessings to you. If you are in town, please join us for the bald field service. They might sing a Christmas carol. I don't know, but maybe. It's going to be a ton it's of fun. It's going to be a, a lot of worship, though. Yeah, and it's fun to get together and gather together. Bless you, and we'll see you next week. All right, three, two, one. We're out. Drake always rushes that. We need, a, we need an extra second. Jesse, should we do the thing yeah, with the road trips? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we'll just need camera two to stay on then, so mm -hmm. we can talk about it, I guess. Cam two, you're live, or you will be. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are on the chat, we're going to start talking about our roast trips. Are we free to tear down? Yeah, so we're doing our backstage thing right now. Uh. Ben, I had fully... Uh, turned off your receiver, so it'll be just a moment. Hey, there you go. two's back. back up. All right, be nice you if we... So who do you need for this back So it would time? be great if we can keep one up as a cover shot. Two will probably have to be on stage getting the details. Um, I was just going to point three and four like we did last week. Sorry, did you say you want one back up? Okay, because they've already started tearing down. I know, I did. I... I can get three up and running. That'd second. be great. Okay, I'm ready. Wait, I thought I was going to speak from my computer. Never mind.
<laughs> Two is live. <laughs> Three, see if you can uh, flip a reverse and show the booth. Iris that baby up on three. Supposed to talk on the video channel? Cool. Okay, guys. Um, is, is two ready? I can see two. Um, nice. Okay. All right, guys. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is Paul. Paul runs our Hi. assets and media servers and all that kind of stuff. Yep. And so we've been getting some questions about the row strips and what they are. And so we're going to let Paul uh, talk about that. Cool. Um, so this is a row strip. Um, they come in different sizes. This is, what size is this? 60 centimeters? 60 centimeters. We have 60s, 90s, and 120s. Um, they're not lights. They're actually LED walls. And you can see they're two pixels wide. Um, by I don't know how many across because we have different sizes. Um, they use an interesting cable. I don't actually know what this cable is called, um, but it's power and data in one, and so you can daisy chain them from here to the next fixture goes into there. Um, and that makes it really easy to just you just run one cable and it's power and data at the same time. And basically, we had last week people on YouTube were saying like, how many channels does it take up? How many channels does it take up on the lighting console? And it takes up none because we get to do it all from Resolume, so it's actually video. Um, I figured if we're back here at the booth, I can show you. Um, basically, if I send white, um, I'm just going to send some white to the row strips. If you guys look at Resolume and its output, I've got three different displays for my different LED walls, and one of them is for row strips. And basically, that just pulls in all these slices and then it outputs it like this. Um, this looks kind of weird and random. It's not random. In a different software, um, we programmed um, the processor to take these spots. So out of my computer, it's like just a regular video signal. It goes in DVI into a Brompton S4 processor, which is an LED wall processor. And that's what's actually driving the row strips. Um, so it's just video content, and what's really cool about video content is I can play, let me, let me play some video. If I throw up video, we can actually, oops, this is the wrong size, like this. Um, it outputs, it takes from my entire composition that I have in Resolume, and wherever these little green lines are, these are called slices in Resolume, they light up, and it's my output. And so that's really cool um, that I can just run video through them and not lighting. Um, they end up just being like texture, because um, it's not like high quality. You couldn't put lyrics on them or something. Um, but one thing I really like to do is just like make them white. Um, so if you look at that, like just white and nothing else, it lights up the stage pretty well. Um, or I can just make them blue. I don't know. They're just really bright. Um, they're easy to set up. They're modular so you can build them however you want. You can have them even do like right angles and stuff. And they're incredibly light. So we just have them hanging on pipe. Um, PVC pipe, the ones on the floor are just sitting on PVC pipe that we have some flanges on the bottom of the PVC pipe to make it steady, and on top, it's a bunch of steel pipe, and they're just hung easily. I don't know um, if we have any questions. I closed my YouTube, so I should actually open that back up. Um, I'm not seeing any questions on YouTube. No questions. Okay. Um, what else, Drake? Am I missing anything? I, th I think that's it, honestly. I think everyone was super curious about their road strips, but they're, they're really cool, and... Um, if you actually watch our um, <laughs> our multi-view on Wednesday night, we're going to be using the row strips outside as part of our Christmas tree lighting uh, setup. So that's going to be really fun. So uh, stay tuned on Wednesday to see them used in a different environment. 
cool. But cool. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, we go out in a minute here, so uh, make sure you turn on those notifications if you want to keep seeing our multi views. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Thank you, everyone.